वंदामी भंते नमो अर्थत सम्मुद्ध गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल द वेनरेबल सुमिता हेरो एट द आउटसाइड आई वुड लाइक थैंक द ऑर्गेनाइजर्स फॉर गिविंग मी सच ए नाइस ऑपर्चुनिटी टू शेयर माय लिटिल नॉलेज ऑन द स्टोरी ऑफ माय होंडा इट इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बट एट द सेम टाइम i sincerely apologize but i am not able to share screen for which i have a slide presentation in spite of that, but why sounding when it is recent yeah i will tell you dhante yeah i can share you ah uh, no it is like sounding dhante Oh, very nice, Hante. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am extremely happy. Okay. Yes, Hante. Now extremely happy. I welcome you to the small talk. I think we can go for half an hour only. And uh, before that, before we make actual presentation, I would like to do a very brief introduction on Nagi Junakar. You know, it is Nagi Junakar. Nagarjuna Konda the hill of Karya Nagarjuna i think you know nagarjuna konda is very famous along with nagarjuna sagar dam built across river krishna at 140 km from hyderabad from guntur equal distance with the construction of the dam a huge reservoir was formed and before it reaches full reservoir level the government of india has taken up surveying the area excavating the remains always then for posterity in the process the archaeological society of india has excavated then log the huge archaeological studied with a city enclosed by a fortification wall then within the city there are roads lanes by lanes there is a palace there are 30 buddhist establishments there are a few brahmanical temples then whole lot of things are there yes as soon as we remind the nagarjuna konda we come across this particular image uh, we are now watching on the screen it is the buddha statue 9 feet 3 inches in height which was installed in a chaitya buddha chaitya it is called buddha chaitya and this chaitya was built by upasika buddha sri for the benefit of the monks coming from sri lanka then it was known as singala and there is an called floor it reads suladamma giri the hills name suladamma giri and the monastery's name is singala vihar it is very interesting it is in third century ad we all know that uh local survey of india for the first time excavations began in 1926 followed by 1937 and far because that what happened was due to inundation of the site from 1954 to 1960 excavations were carried out on a very very large scale it went on for 6 years and the site is in an extent of 2500 acres sam sam ppt loan ಹ 
I'm sorry. So, was, uh, from 1954 to 1960, excursions were carried out in India. Carried out there. Uh, as I mentioned, there were many number of cultures, signs, cultures, everything. The interesting thing is that the site yielded two historic remains, and uh, there are archaeological remains which date prehistoric right from the lower Paleolithic, Middle Paleolithic, Upper Paleolithic, and Neolithic, Neolithic, Paleolithic, Megalithic, Early Historic. And Early Historic, it is very interesting to know that we have got uh, an inscription of Vijaya Chakrami in, in which mentioned that uh, in which it mentions that uh, Vijaya Chakrami has made some Donation to a Buddhist monastery at Nagarjuna on Vaisaka Pundami. That is a lot of time. Very interesting to note. And the name who donated, uh, uh, the king's name donated was Vijaya. And the city is Sri Parvajaya, the city of the victory. And after the Sarvahanas, the Nagarjuna Pundra Valley was ruled over by the uh, a dynasty called Ikshwaku. Chantamuna was the founder, and there were four kings, and they ruled for 100 years separately. And during that period, the uh, capital city was Sri Parvata Vijayapuri, identified with Nagarjuna Kanda. That is what we call the backdrop. What we call is uh, you can now, I think, uh, uh, yes. Yes, you can now see it. This is, uh, yes, next Bhante, next slide, Bhante. Bhante, next slide. Ah, yes. You, you can look at where exactly Nagar Janapurna is located in India. In Hyderabad, you have got access. From Vijayawada, also you can go there. And on the right side, you have got, um, left side, you have got one, uh, this thing now, map, map to next is huge reservoir in Nagarjuna Kondo was submerged. Next, next. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The story begins with the 1920s and 30s and continued between 54 and 60, wherein we got almost all the relics pertaining to pre-historic and to late medieval period. And on the side, there is one great personality by name Dr. R. Subrahmanyam. He excavated six years there and the site was visited by the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru twice. Many people have visited and all the excavated materials were shifted to places. One is on the island where the museum was constructed and housed all the antiquities and some more structures. And on the other side, right side of River Krishna, at a place called Anupu, many of the structures were reconstructed at two places, as I said earlier. Next, Bhante. Yes, it is what you call Bhante uh, has traveled from like this only. We have to take a boat. It takes 40 minutes to reach. After the you you reach, you have to get down and uh, climb up the small hill. On the hill, you come across. The all the reconstructed structures that is, uh, uh, many structures are there. Next slide, next slide, and then not necessary. State I go to the uh, third slide. Next, next. Um, slide. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if there is some sound issue. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is actually the site you now find on the top side is River Krishna. On the left side, you find come across the whole fortified city of Sri Parvata Vijayapuri. And during the excavations, uh, you the spotted ones, Mahastopa, Viharas, temples, whatnot, everything was excavated before the dam was constructed. Next, Bhante. Now I can go. Yes, this is actually close up. Now, since you will be uh, downloading and uh, you can share uh, this Bhante to any people, now 
on the top is ashwamedha yoga because what happens was it is very interesting to note that all the male members the kings four kings were strong chivai vedic uh, people but their wives are st- strong buddhists they only raised 30 buddhist monasteries there men are vedic because they want to wage wars and next kingdom etc women thought no war war uh, leads to killing many people why should we kill many people buddha propounded ahimsa uh, because um, uh, panati pata then why should we take it the, so you see i am saluting the uh, women folk of the royalty of the ikshvakus who have raised 30 buddhist monasteries decorated the stupas viharas with beautiful thousands of panels and those panels reveal what you call the life and the mission of siddhartha gautama the previous lives of siddhartha gautama as the jatakas then uh, contemporary social life what not everything so through the excavations and through these panels that were recovered from uh, excavations which were on display in nagarjuna konda museum what we can deduce is we can estimate how the royalty lived we can also estimate how the buddhist clergy was also living then we can also estimate how common people were also living you can have the palaces structures what not life entire lifestyle was uh, depicted yes you can see uh, there is a footpath there is actually a small dockyard there is actually a well a megalithic tomb a gateway bodhi series singala vihara then there is a swastika stupa like that next one next one many number of structures were there this was yes as i said earlier this is an iron age burial iron age burial it is very interesting so we have got many stone tools of the prehistoric period also are also there in the museum what i mean to say here is the site was a uh, habitat for the man right from prehistory to medieval period onwards it is in continuity next Yes now can you look at uh, this was the scene of 1954 you can see in the, at the bottom is chaitya buddhist chaitya and people were excavating new you can see on the on the top there is river krishna it was 1954 on this side is entire archaeological site which is extended to 2500 acres the biggest in entire indian context next to tatskala excavations this went into record next bande this is again my submission is that yes now singala vihara you have got on either so in between uh, what we call is that uh, sila mandapa sila mandapa is uposathagara where acharya sits gives discourse and again um, presents the ordination to uh, the aspirants this what we call is uposathagara sila mandapa it is mentioned as uh, inscriptions next one yes this is again one more archaeological site with uh, sila very close to river uh, river uh, krishna you have got a stupa you have got a chaitya you have got university most of the people archaeologists have identified it as a university wherein the sri lankan monks particularly they have gone to 14 countries anga vanga kalinga kashmir chin chilata gandhara all these countries the holy sri lankan monks have traveled spread across the message of the buddha and from those all 14 countries monks students novice monks etc have come over here stayed in this part of the slide which is known as viswavidyalaya that is university next yes again one more very huge site you come across stupa chaitya buddha chaitya sila mandapa in its and mahastupa also on the right side you find that mahastupa in a small circular one with taika platforms on all the four cardinal directions this was again taken in 1956 while the excavations were progressing some are laid bare some are yet to be taken up next one yes here the very close up of on the opposite side you have got a hillock close to the hillock because they want to be elevated to be away from the regular floods of river krishna they selected an elevated place and uh, constructed huge buddhist monastery this monastery was uh, dismantled and piece by piece transported 
and it was reconstructed on the rights of river krishna at a place called anubhu here give me 2 minutes time yes now i am taking you to 3rd century ad yes kindly kindly hold one day i am taking you to 3rd century ad wherein as i mentioned chantamula uh, vera purusha datta rudra purusha datta these were the kings ruling and on their part they have built many number of temples for sarva devi sarva devadivasa ashtabhuja swami etc there were vedika uh, homa kundas also that is a part on the other side here you come across i would like to say why it is called as the hill of the nagarjuna yes the medieval inscriptions from 10th century onwards in inscriptions we find nagarjuni konda the hill of acharya nagarjuna it was located at the present day site only and after that what happened acharya nagarjuna was supposed to have stayed there quite long years during his last phase of life and uh, composed the last uh, works last works philosophical wonderful philosophical works there uh, so on acharya nagarjuna sometime or the other we can uh, dwell so i am confining only to refer acharya nagarjuna and his presence there hence the site was called as nagarjuna konda we know he is the greatest propounder of madhyamika philosophy again propounder of uh, not to not propounder of sunyavada but who has analyzed sunyavada in such a way that it could be understood uh, by even the common man and he wrote sunyata saptati then mola madhyamika karika srihalleka and ratnavali you all know that so i am not going to just list out and give and christian lindner has given a book by name called nagarjuni yana the way of acharya nagarjuna if you just refer you can come across uh, gist of uh, the uh, 12 works written by acharya nagarjuna yes that was acharya nagarjuna stayed there then what happened uh, there were kings kings were strange vaishnava sorry vedic scholars vedic people women were now you are coming across stupas chetyas votu stupas chetyagrahas viharas sila mandapas all these were uh, actually built by women among them adavi shanti sri is the greatest patroness of buddhism supported by one more bodhi sri upasika bodhi sri she is from gova grama she her husband was a mahanavika he was earning lot lot of money when this lady has a very wide heart she said that buddhism the dhamma is the only only message that really sir sir nenu america ko talk cheyutnan sir ida vangana chestan kshaminchal sir please please sorry and then uh, that uh, only message will give a way for wholesome life for all the living beings so she believed in she became a convinced buddhist and brought all her money to nagarjuna konda and elsewhere also she has constructed here she built like that what i mean to say is you see how women were fascinated attracted by the dhamma so these are contributions of the women only this is my thing yes what were those we recovered from these things yes we recovered a mini number of panels along with antiquities buddhist inscriptions there are more than 40 to 50 inscriptions we recovered they were in brahmi language and sorry brahmi script and uh, um, prakrit language one um sanskrit language sanskrit was also there so the city was well established clearly defined i am not going into those details yes the panels reveal now we are going to watch the one after another now those panels reveal the life of siddhartha gautama right from the maya devi's uh, dream of white elephant entering into her womb then deepankar buddha uh, requesting the buddha to come on to this land then after that uh, white elephant after that she goes but janana after that the great departure then enlightenment then first sermon then mahaparinibbana in between his entire mission that is he was going for arms then again giving discourses counseling the people 
giving whole lot of knowledge to the people to look at themselves, making them as a mirror. And he has also given a wonderful tool, Vipassana Bhavana, wherein we again look into ourselves in a calm and serene atmosphere, wherein we can have uh, a wonderful opportunity to eliminate all defi defilements, glaciers, and from our own uh, uh, mind, so that what happens is we become a wholesome personality. Then that is what you call the panels reveal. Now the scene that we are looking at on the screen is there is a vihara. Vihara is at the center. There is a mandapa that is pavilion and all around you have cells um, meant for comfortable stay of the Buddhist monks. And uh, next to it, this side is that circular one with a, uh, with a wheel shaped stupa. On the other side, small, small circles are there. They denote existence of votive stupas. That is, um, the devotees, whoever go there, they will donate small bit of money so that they will raise a, the local nations will raise a small stupa to commemorate the visit of the Upasakas and Upasakas. So this is all about on this slide. Next one day. Yes, again, various phases of excavations. It is very interesting. Nobody knows that it, uh, it, uh, there was a huge treasure of Buddhist art and architecture buried. But when the archaeology started, slowly, slowly in various phases, Topas came, Viharas came. Next. Next, Bhante. Yes, see. now all of a sudden, yes, you can come across now. These uh, um, remains of the human came, remains of horses came, burials came. Then people were at work. And on this side, you can come across a very beautiful panel. This is Sese Jataka. That entire Sese Jataka is there now. You know it. I am not able to, because it is uh, no time to tell. Yes, in Sese Jataka panel, you can come across a you know, what you call Tinagara Kuti. That is a small hut meant meant for ascetics or whatever it may be and uh, we can estimate that the type of dwellings that uh, they were woke in that period third century AD. next one day yes this is uh, how the people were actually uh, recording removing piece by piece stacking at one place then cleaning them then shifting them so this is the process next of the excavations next one Bhante, next one Yes, now even on the top you have got what to call, on the top you have got Buddhist Vihara and here under, uh, sorry, uh, Chaitya Graha, Stopa Chaitya, it is called because within the Chaitya we have got Stopa, if it is there, a Buddha statue, we call it as Buddha Chaitya, next one. Yes, this is actually what I mean to say is the specialty of uh, uh, the Ikshvaku period, that is uh, 3rd century AD, only 3rd century, the entire 225 to exactly 300, they ruled for 75 years and another 25 years also. But during this phase, we have got many Buddhist sites all along coastal and the Telangana area. The stupas were built in a typical plan like how a wheel of a cart looks like. This is the plan. Next one. Built of brick. Those bricks are very heavy. 58 centimeters. Yes, again, this is a Vihara. How a Vihara looks like. The water on the right side, you come across two Chaitya Grahas opposite side. This is Singhala Vihara built by uh, um, Bodhisiri, Upasaka Bodhisiri. Next one. Yes, those during those days, the local tribes, they were like their tribals were there. They were put to uh, work. Then uh, these are the Lambadas. Those are what you call Chinsus. These two people were engaged for excavating uh, these sites. Next one. 1958. Yes, these are some of the things that we come across one by one, piece by piece, like this. And after that, we have assembled and all those things were on display. Next one. Bhante, next. Next. Yeah, yes, yes, kindly hold. On the top, you can now notice first, second, third are holy relic caskets of Lord Buddha. Jena Dhatu Vare. This is what we call. Uh, uh, holy relics of Lord Buddha were enshrined, hence it is called as Mahastopa. And we got five such relic caskets, one stone, then is uh, 
uh, within the stone we have got uh, copper within the copper we got silver within the silver we have got gold and within the gold we have got holy relics of lord buddha along with precious and semi precious stones and at the bottom you can see roman gold coins were also deposited because these roman coins through trade they reach andhra coast and through andhra coast they reach through river krishna to nagarjunakonda and they are dated to first second century ad but uh, the stupa was built in third century ad and all these things went into making the stupa they were deposited inside the stupa during the excavation uncovering the stupa all these antiquities were found including the holy relics of lord buddha next yes you can see very interesting bhante in thing is that since it was an international trade emporium in 3rd century ad you really uh, will wonder to say that uh, people the kings were so rich and they employed uh, what to call citizen soldiers as bodyguards citizen soldiers you can see romans you can see greek people you can see chinese also sir bhante yes all these things we come across from nagarjuna konda it is on display and what i mean to say here is it was a cosmopolitan city it was an international uh, city by 3rd century ad next yes buddha pada that is very important on the top you find buddha pada was very very interesting there is an inscription uh, which was donated by kanduvula mahadevi chief queen of chan yahuvala chantamula at the bottom you come across that what to call a white elephant is entering is about to enter into the womb of maya devi is that so these are what to call to disseminate uh, the history of buddhism buddha charita we come across the wonderful literary piece that uh, uh, buddha charita by uh, ashwaghosha yes that is a literary piece but what happens was all the canonical uh, expressions on siddhartha gautama and his life are here illustrated on stone so that the common man whenever they come over there there will be uh, some monks who will disseminate the knowledge on yes how do you know how buddha was born he was one of the manushi buddhas he is seventh in the line the eighth is yet to come yes now the seventh human manushi buddha He is entered like this. His story is like this. So Thodana and Maya Devi, like that, they will uh, refer, read, explain to the common man, so that they will be given information on the life and mission of uh, Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha. Next. Yes, here many whole lot of things are there on the top. You can come across Siddhartha when he moves out of his uh, palace from Kapila Vastu, then goes to the forest. He wants to cut his hair. Then what happens was he throws away the tuft, and the tuft is about to fall on the ground. No, then the devas, the the divine people. No, they saw that oh, this is so pious, so holy. It shall not fall on the ground. They came with a golden bowl, played, and. carried it to the heaven and at the bottom the buddha is actually giving discourse then what to call it that discourse is none other than what to call the uh, mara darshana that is when siddhartha at the end of his striving he is about to get enlightenment that is he about to um, samma sambodhi become the buddha then the mara sends his three daughters like that na krishna and tanha all these things three they will come want to distract him no this siddhartha took a foundation that he should attain the full enlightenment this is what to call mara's attack and mara's subjugation so you see there are many such stories uh, in the scene next next yeah again uh, siddhartha was giving discourse then at the bottom dharma chakra vandana at the bottom stupa vandana and here chakravarti is shown at the bottom right side on the top again uh, uh, siddhartha was going for arms and uh, nalagiri damana is there oh, that is a very interesting story on the top siddhartha before his marriage during the swayamvara he was put to a test 
to test his uh, what to call uh, competence and uh, able body etc and they give him a bow and that bow was uh, what to call bent like this no? that is a story very interesting story as uh, prince next Yes, here also many number of stories are also there which will give Buddha and his mission so popular. What we call is this art, what we now see is called as the Amaravati school of art in its mature phase. The beginning phase was 1st century BC uh, at Nagarjuna Konda. Then after that is during the Mahayana phase, it reached its climax and at uh, Amaravati, then afterwards is Nagarjuna Konda is the last phase after that we couldn't find uh, Amaravati art to flourish and this is, can you notice in a small panel how many images are there and images are not simply carved, they are spreading across a message, they are revealing a story, they are giving important events during the life of the Buddha, not one. And on the top of the registers, you find the animals. And in between, you have got bands, uh, dividers. On dividers, you feel all the geometrical designs, creative designs of the artists. So the artists also enjoyed quite freedom to depict whatever they see, they observe just for dissemination of knowledge of the contemporary period. Next one day. Yes, this is again amphitheater. Very interesting to see. A uh, spiritual aspect is one and again people getting into uh, the real spirit of Dhamma to practice is on one hand and the monks, holy monks were doing their job to spread across the Dhamma. On the other side, there was royalty, there were people, nobles, citizens, they need a little kind of entertainment for their entertainment and amusement. Uh, there was a stadium, what we call amphitheater. First of its kind in entire Indian context, there was a very beautiful stadium on the banks of River Krishna, now reconstructed on the other side. Next, Bhante. Yes, the stupa. How stupa? Yes, we find only the remain here. And when it was in its full phase of uh, receiving worship, monks going around praying and uh, reciting Buddha Vandana, Triratna Vandana, then how it looks? Now we are only ruins and it looks like this. Can you notice on the left side there is a beautiful stupa uh, decorated with uh, all symbols, Buddha images and on the top you have got flying Gandharvas also. Then this was what you call, it gives us a uh, photo shot of the stupa that received uh, worship, 3rd century AD. Next. Yes, this is a small register. Yes, you now find across even some Buddhist, uh, uh, these things, Buddha in his mission, Nanda, that is Saundar Nanda, you know. Even Asyogosha has written a wonderful book called Saundar Nanda, in which Nanda, the cousin of uh, Buddha, uh, joins, then again he goes. Joins, again he goes. Because he has uh, mm, fell in love with uh, Janapada Kalyani, that is Sundari. Then he says, Buddha says, no, my dear, Nanda, come with me. He makes a, an air tour wherein he visualizes to know um, uh, that uh, Nanda, that the entire life is impermanent, Anicca. You see, oh, you are actually passionate in looking at your own lover. That lover never stays in her prime youth. She becomes Jati Jara, Jara Marana. That is a wonderful depiction here. On the last, in between, there are Dampatis, couple. Uh, in the sense, Dampatis means households, his wife and himself. They are in their regular, uh, what we call, homely life. So we cannot also ignore it. Next one. Yes, this is what we call stupa vandana. What a beautiful stupa, small stupa, Ramagrama stupa like that. They are worshipping it. On the top you have got parasols, chetris, that is umbrellas, which denote that uh, the relics enshrined in the stupa belong to none other than the spiritual um, Chakravarti Buddha. Next. Next Bhante. Yes, again, Dharma Chakra vandana. Yes, Vandana was Triratna Vandana, Buddham, Dhammam, Sangham, that is different, that is only for recitation, but for the people and all the royalty and others, they used to venerate 
or make worship of Bodhi tree under which he, Siddhartha Gautama got enlightenment. Then Dhammasakra, the first discourse symbolizes. Then uh, I saw many, there are many such important events symbolically represented. And this belongs to what we call the Theravada phase, continued even at uh, Theravada monks are also there. There are eight types of uh, Buddhist sects flourished at uh, Nagarjuna Kunda along with Mahasangika Sarbi Mahayana. One of them is Theravada. This is a symbol of Theravada, Dhamma Chakka Vandana. Next. Yes, there are sculptors before they carve an idol or a, an incident, they really draw like this. What a wonderful drawing, sketch of 3rd century AD. Next. Yes, Muchulinda Naga. We all know that in Bodhgaya, where B. Buddha got enlightenment, before that, Sekka wants to distort his concentration, Samadhi. Then he causes a heavy rain pour. And at that point of time, Siddha was too steadfast. He has got that Vajra Sankalpa to get enlightenment, to know the cause of the truth, etc. Then what happened was, from nearby the tank, a snake is there. That snake's name is Mutsulinda Naga. It, it comes over to Siddhartha Gautama and uh, she keeps her uh, uh, hoods on the top of the head of uh, uh, Siddhartha so that he is protected from distortion. Finally, he attained Samma, Sambodhi. Hence, in Buddhism, Naga Mutsulinda is venerated along with the Buddha. Next. Yes, this is actually uh, what you call uh, Sekka. Sekka also came to know about the uh, beautitude of the Dhamma. He was actually causing a lot of hindrances uh, to Siddhartha Gautama not to get enlightened. But after knowing that he is a great Lokottara, the Dhamma is unparalleled, good at the beginning, good at the, at the middle, good at the end. Adhi Madhyanta Kalyana Dhamma. He comes there and begs, requests, my dear Buddha, please enlighten me, enlighten me on some aspects of Dhamma. You have attained through experience. That is very important. Buddha said that don't believe anything which doesn't come into the range of human experience. So this is the best example, though broken, beautiful piece. Next. Yes, this is as I said earlier, Siddhartha, when he cut his tuft, it was being taken to heaven by the devas. Next. Within one small, this, yes, here what happens is, uh, this is the earliest inscriptions that we come across there, um, is that uh, uh, um, Samma, that is Vijay Syatakarni has Vaisaka Poonima, the last Poonima, Vaisaka Poonima day, Vijay Syatakarni has donated um, he is Vijaya, Vijayasa, Vijayasa, Siri Vijayasa, that is Vijay Satakarni has given donation on Visaka Purnami, uh, that is, which means that by 2nd century AD, before the Ekshwakus came and made it capital city, there was a Buddhist uh, monastery. This is very important piece of information. Next one. Yes, this is a, a Kanch but it belongs to the Hindu faith. No, no problem, but we respect it as an antiquity. And there is one uh, inscription on that also. That is uh, uh, Ashtabhuja Swami temple. It was recovered. Next, next, next. Yes, it is very interesting that the Siddhartha left. He wanted to know the cause of uh, the suffering with which the entire world or Lokas are affected very badly. Then he went to the forest. Then he gave all his jewelry. Said Channa, please go. You return to Kapilavastu. I am not going to come until I know the truth. Then he come. He reports to Sudhodana. Sudhodana says, even see, the horse is also so sad that I lost my, not lost. Uh, my dear is not there with me. The horse is kept his head so deeply down with the deep sorrow. And Siddhartha is reporting. Suddhodana kept his uh, um, hand on that one. Oh, my dear son, how can I live without you? Why did you take such a drastic step to leave the house? That is known as the great departure, Mahaparinibbana. No, 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 I cannot bear without you. 
is the message that spread across it through this uh, this thing you can also see at the back uh, the palace palace complex is singhasan or uh, everything next one yes he is actually um, giving this uh, this is again maharashtra darshana only in the beginning after that uh, subjugation of mara baldana in varieties of things it was displayed with uh, the three daughters of mara mara and elephant on the other hand only the devils will also be shown that we for example me if i want to sit for quite contemplation of meditation i will be distracted with thoughts he says the buddha no please be aware of the fact chitta chetana you drive all those unnecessary things entering into your mind which will distract this is the best best example of mara uh, and his attack and subjugation finally wins over by siddhartha next yes this is actually again uh, mara darshana in another aspect can you notice this side is mara and his uh, daughters the tens the ten army dasa army na ten army is there dasa sena this side he said no i am defeated you won bolke chale ja ra next yes this is actually giving a discourse and uh, most of the kings and queens used to come even bimbisara has come and uh, to learn such thing na on the either side you can see dampati sculptures next one and uh, this is actually the holy relic you know the holy relic is being it uh taken to heaven holy relics of lord buddha soon after what to call this thing um, the mahaparinibbana that is relic casket next one yes again this is deer park can you notice at the bottom you have got deer and one two three these are not actually the monks soon after he gives this court people started visiting him this is panchavadiya bhikkhus he gives for the first time his discourse and the scene is in continuity to, to that because two deer are shown as if buddha is preaching in deer park at sarnad sarangana next one yes this is again uh, uh, what to call uh, siddhartha uh, no this is uh, what to call uh, sibi jataka very interesting you all know that sibi jataka is and emphasis was given on dana next 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 yes this is again i think uh, one more same mara darshana only next one in another aspect next one this is siddhartha leaving this is mahayana phase after acharya nagarjuna came to the scene he says that buddha is lokotra why can't we create a, the form in human form then start worshiping so that people will connect to uh, the life of siddhartha gautama and they also follow his way of life so he created uh the imagery for buddha next is yes, this is again uh, buddha goes to what to call naga naga loka etc and there, there are many 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 life stories so we, uh, this is mentioned in sound sorry buddha charita uh, naga buddha goes to naga loka next one uh, yes this is that uh, what to call Mm, that the dipankara jataka etc they are requesting my dear buddha please come and uh, uh, save the human world which is actually uh, without any leader next next these are some of the things that uh, uh, i am not able to look at but siddhartha is coming and there is one i think one of the stories next one next one worship uh, tapusa and bhallika were there and uh, actually what happens were not tapusa and bhallika people used to donate na how actually donations were made during those things danas so this is one such thing next one uh, this is actually a scene a contemporary scene along with animals and men in the forest next one and this is again uh, the siddhartha gautama of mahanishkramana mahavir next one next one please many such slides are there yes again uh, there are many such stories next one next one some are uh, not labeled also next you can now see the entire scene of what to call the day before siddhartha is at to take a decision he was formed to leave the house and his father sent it and he invited all the great uh, what to call beautiful women from 16 janapadas and 
surround Siddhartha so that at least he will be attracted by the beauty tude of these women and he will never leave house. No, it is, he knows that it is impermanent and he was searching for a permanent solution, a blissful thing. So he, it was never affected. This is a very beautiful panel at Nagarjuna Konda. Next, the day before Siddhartha leaves house. Uh, next, this is also again Champe Jataka is there. Next one, this is one of the Jatakas. Yes, here it is art, Buddhist art. It is a very, what to call is a, a damsel dwarf. Next one. Next, please. Yes, again, it is now how people are taking to ordination. Nanda is being taken to the Sangha. Next one. Upali is there. Upali is also seen. Here, this is Deepankara Jataka. When, uh, my, uh, please come and uh, be born as Buddha. This is what to call Buddha Vamsa. Uh, one of the incidents. Next, next, please. Next again, Mara attack only. Next one, not the Mara attack. It is another. Yes, this is Dharma Chakra Vandana. Next one, repeated. Some are sorry, repeated. Yes, uh, this is another incident. I am not able to say. Next one. Yes, this is again uh, Buddha giving Dhamma Desana. Next, next, next. Uh, this is again what we have seen, the repeated, uh, some are repeated, sorry. Next one, because there are many panels repeated. It is dead, Purna, Purna Kumbha. It uh, symbolizes Panna, Sila, Samadhi, Panna, the penultimate uh, uh, pillar of the Buddhism is Pragna. Purna, we call it as Purna Ghatta, not Kumbha. Kumbha is Vedic, Ghatta is Buddhist. Next. Next, contemporary scenes. Next one. Next. Yes, it is actually that Panchavagya Bhikkhus. And here it is another uh, some Jataka story. Next one. Next one. Repeated. Some are sorry. Extremely sorry. Uh, yes, this is actually Maya Devi giving birth to Siddhartha and having known that the boy shall not fall on the ground. Chatur, uh, four Brahmas come with golden net to catch the baby, see to that the baby is not fallen on the ground. He is so precious, valuable and gift to the humanity. Next. He is actually an, another small panel of Mahavinish Karmana. Next. Next, next, next. So I am extremely sorry some are repeated. This is Topavandana. Next, please. Yes, yes. This is also again now. Uh, people coming and all those things and next one please all are actually they depict buddha and his mission only next one next next same yes this is my entering into my another no? white elf descent of white elephant next the celebration next next please next these are some of the things that you know, and this is again my days to dream in a different panel. Next one. Next, next. Some are repeated. I'm extremely sorry. I'm not able to see because uh, lack of time. Next, next. Next, Bhante. Same. Most of them are what we call this is, uh, yeah, yes. Uh, this denotes that Mandhata Jataka, Mandhata Jataka. And Mandhata wanted to uh, uh, win over the world, three world. Then he goes to Indra, uh, Indra Loka and he wants to share his uh, Singhasan. Then after that he shares, he wants his wife also to be shared. Then he says he was thrown to the down. That is, any human being has wholesome thought. He shall not go beyond that. Unwholesome practices, thoughts are not allowed. Like that, there is a message in Mandhata Jataka. Next, whatever he acquired, it was lost in no time. This is Sundari and Nandaka, and Buddha is taking Nanda on the clouds, and he shows that it is like a monkey. Your mind is like a monkey, and your Sundari, though she is in prime youth, she becomes, she becomes, she becomes old, older, 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 and finally, the beauty what you look at at this moment will never stay on her body, Anicca. Next. Yes, this is uh, what you call uh, Chakravartin. The Chakravartin ka ek important uh, symbol hai wo. Sapta Ratana Samanvitam Chakravarti. That is what are those seven jewels. He, his wife, an aswa, an elephant, a minister, a treasurer, like that. 
a servant. Yes, this is Saptaratana. Next, there is a flag also. Next, 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 please. Next, please. Next, please. This is all beautiful. Next. These are some of the things that they used to decorate. He is actually meditating about to get uh, the this thing and there is a heavy rain on the top. You look at the water, wavy things and Naga Musulinda is protecting. Next one. Yes, we are now closing Bhante. Last phase. Next, 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 next. You can, ah, yes, this I want to tell you. Nine feet, three inches. Santa Swarup. So beautiful, endowed with uh, Mahapurusha Lakshanas, that is Vishnisha on the top, then actually the Dakshinavurta Kesha on his hair, on his head, very small, two inch only, according to Pali Canon. Then he has got a Urna, that is his hair for, uh, forms into a circle in between the eyebrows. What a wonderful thing. And he is holding Chivara, that is Sanghati Bhutana. Trichivara. Like this is what you call the most beautiful Buddha image so far we come across in entire Indian context. Next. It is in Nagarjunakonda Museum. This is another Buddha statue from Nagarjunakonda Museum. Next. This is what you call the Andhra style different from Madhura and Gandhara. Next, next, next. Yes, one more thing. You can here clearly see the Mahapurusha Rakshanas Vushnisha on the top. That is a cranial protuberance, Dakshinavurta Kesha, then Urna in between the eyebrows and uh, Lamba Karnata. That is, these are what we call uh, the Buddha was so meticulously, beautifully carved by the artisans of Amaravati School of Art. Next. Yes, this is very clear. One, one more a small relief figure of the Buddha. Next one. Yes. Do you, do you know these are some of the damsels and uh, what to call is Ganga. Makara. She is on a Makara. Very significant phase of Ganga. Next. Next, next, next. Dampatis. Nagadevatas, whatever, yes, they are in their uh, daily routine. Yes, you can see how beautifully during those period, Buddha, Buddhist monks, their dress, then common man, women, how they used to. So the contemporary life was also depicted in Amaravati sculpture. Next, 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 next. Very quickly, quickly, Bhante. These are wine bottles also there. The common man, though Buddha said Panchasila, Majjimam. Uh, then the common people are uh, in their own routine. Next, next, next. Next, again Ganga, next. Yes, one small panel may you can see how many beautiful episodes, incidents were uh, carved so that it will dif disseminate the knowledge on Buddhism. Next. Next. These are just themselves. This is Nagamutsuri and again, next one. Next, next, please. Next. These are Dampati Selpa. Next, 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 <laughs> next. Sorry, sorry. This is, yes, this was also, yes, these are some of the stupas of Nagarjuna Konda. Yes, small miniature models. Yes, this is what to call, there was Kubera image. On either side, Senkhanidhi and Padmanidhi. His two uh, subordinates are also there with the Koshas. That is a Nidhi Kosha. He is holding Nidhi Kosha. And on the other side, this is Senka Nidhi. On his top, you have got Senka. And on the other side, you have got Padma. Senka Nidhi and Padma Nidhi. Next, doors. These are in the museum. This is Padma Nidhi. On his top, you find Padma. Yes, these are routine. Yes, this is the Mahastopa wherein the uh, Buddha's holy relics were enshrined and built by Adavi Shanti Siddhi, the sister of Shantamula, the king of Nagarjanakonda at um, 3rd century AD. Next. Yes, this is actually Singhala Vihara. And Buddha is there, Stupa is there, uh, Monastery is there. Next one. Last, we are coming to the end. Island Museum, where you can see and uh, our respected venerable uh, Sumitta Bhante has seen all these things. Th thank you. Next, 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 next. Yes, this is MP uh, stadium, what I said, no amphitheater, just for amusement. Next one, reconstructed one. Next one. Yes. Now, we have constructed there. People are coming just to, to looking at the dam and some people are visiting Nagarjanakonda. 
they are missing the museum but uh, this entire part was endowed with buddha's uh, dhamma and buddhist culture and people are away from it we want to connect them with the buddhist thing we want to promote uh, and furthering the buddha's dhamma here in this part so government of d then andhra pradesh and present telangana has developed a beautiful buddhist project called buddhavanam next 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 very huge in 274 acres where there is a stupa yes now can you locate at the center there is a stupa there is a buddha charitavanam there is jatakavanam there is stupavanam there is dhyanavanam everything at the backdrop you can see the huge beautiful reservoir next very closely i am where yes this is the buddhavanam modern day buddhist heritage theme park i would uh, i am now associated with as buddhist expert consultant i request all of you whenever you are here at uh, hyderabad kindly make it convenient to visit this buddhavanam a unique buddhist heritage theme park uh, Uh, with which i am i have been associating since 20 years yesterday i also i was there next you know bhante yesterday our uh, gagan malik who played the role of buddha in siddhartha gautama uh, produced by sri lanka he was there yesterday i was there at nagarjuna konda along with him and i returned uh, previous night only from nagarjuna konda next next buddha charitavanam all the five great events this is jataka vanam 42 jataka panels are displayed we have got only 42 among out of 547 those 45 uh, panels are carved and decorated uh, displayed there next jataka vana then perfection as bodhisattva buddha should become this is dipankar jataka next i am not going to take to give details this is actually one of the buddha charita vanam the buddha got enlightenment this is in branch and at the back side of the image you notice a bodhi tree that was a, um, planted by his holiness the dalai lama and the sapling was brought by me from bodh gaya thank you next next one day. yes this is growing now growing growing next bodhi tree Yes, Panchavagya Bhikkhus Kelia Buddha is giving the very first discourse of Dhamma Chakra Pravartana Sutra and Anatta Lakkana Sutta, Aditya Parayaya Sutta also. Next. Yes, the great demise, Mahaparinibbana Sutta Anta. Entire thing we have covered on the pedestal. Next. Yes, this is Dhamma Bell donated by uh, Sri Lanka government. Thanks to Ministry of Buddha Sasana. Next. at the backdrop you see the mahastupa yes this is jataka park next one please next 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 yes again i think some are repeated next 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 i am sorry this is another jataka one more jataka these are mini jataka sir there there uh, next next this is vesantar jataka yes amaravati ka railing which you come across in british museum london we replicated it as it is in situ in letter and spirit 14 feet high with upright pillar roundels in between uh, and on the top you have got uh, bushnisha next everything as it is next yes this is other side yes sri lanka government avukana buddha statue of 27 feet was donated by the sri lankan government Uh, i was actually asked to accompany the then minister of sri lanka buddha sasana then he came along with her wife and in the during the journey in the car i told the sri lankan connection that is singal vihara at nagarjuna konda way back in 3rd century ad and we also have got connections in uh, sri lanka they refer to sri parvata in uh, in sri lanka then they said no oh, we should establish reconnect then this he as soon as he reaches there he sends all these things to india and they say island is again giving back to the mainland these are the words used by the minister of buddha sasana of sri lanka thank you. next 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 yes this is stupavana we wanted any person who enters this budavanam should be given knowledge on varieties of stupas in different parts of southeast asia we have got indian six examples karle kanheri uh, sanchi sarnath then nepal bodhgaya tibet uh, manikyala in punjab and again southeast uh, korea uh, indonesia anuradhapura etc next at one place in scale models yes this is uh, the thing next one next one next one please yes this is mahastupa please come and visit it is 100 feet height and 200 feet wide there are many facilities inside which 
uh, beautiful decorations and Buddhist culture are there. And we used more than 1240 panels to decorate the stupa. And in almost all the 1240 panels, we have embedded 1 lakh images. Next. Next. Close up view of the stupa. Yes, very close up. You can now see the uh, yeah, beautiful sculptures decorated. Next one. Yes, on all the drum portion, we have got uh, these sculptures. Next. Yes, next of uh, punch five Aika pillars. Next one. Drum and dome, both the parts. And doors were also decorated with beautiful Buddhist art. Next one. Yes, if you enter inside, we have created virtual Akasha. The concept of Akasha and Chaitana. Uh, uh, that is there inside uh, created. Next one using German technology. Yes, uh, at the center, we have got that uh, four Buddha images in Dhammachaka Pravartana and the whole directions. And at the corners, we have got Akshobhya, Amitabha, and then uh, the Panchadhyani Buddhas. Next. Yes, next, it was in construction. Next, next, next. Yes, thank you so much for giving me such a nice opportunity. And I could give a little bit, a little taste of it and feel touch of it, not more than that. Next time, we will go into deeper that what exactly was there at Nagarjuna Konda. Next time, I will tell you kindly, um, my sincere apologies for uh, uh, what to call the delay caused in making presentation. And next, uh, I will take care. Thank you. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, Bhante. Thank you, other participants, respected participants. Thank you so much. Bhante, 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 please. That was so wonderful. I really enjoyed the entire presentation. Um, Sadhu, Sadhu. It reminded me of um, the, uh, the opening ceremony of the uh, reach establishing of the Buddha statue. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. In 19... 97 something. <laughs> yes, yes, in Hussein Sagar. Hussein Sagar. Yes, yes. Hussein Sagar. So, so that time we were taken to visit all those places, including the Nagarjuna Khanda. Nagarjuna Khanda was just a, an archaeological site. Now, when I see this beautiful construction of the, the Buddha Vana, all those beautiful places. Uh, it's so, um, I, I feel so happy. Uh, I definitely want to take um, another visit uh, when I visit India. Most welcome, most welcome. Yeah, and I also would like to invite our friends who are watching this program. Uh, please make sure to you know, visit this beautiful place uh, in Andhra Pradesh because Andhra Pradesh is not normally touched by the and the people who visit the other uh, Buddhist uh, site. So I think it is good to have uh, these places in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, yeah, take a look. And it is worth visiting these amazing uh, Buddhist sites. And also, people are very hospitable, very down to humble. And uh, I think I think they, you will have a wonderful experience if you visit. Uh, Dr. Reddy, I also want to say, like the, the speaking similar and under the base, they look very similar, like round shape. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bhante, one thing is there from here, from this coastal Andhra Pradesh, you see Anuradhapura. And in museum at Anuradhapura, you have got typical Andhra images there in the museum. Panels are there, pillars are there. They were shipmented from Andhra to Sri Lanka. Yeah, I had a, I had a wonderful opportunity to visit uh, Osmania University. Um, Thank you, Bhante. Amazingly wholesome. Um, so there were a lot of a uh, lot of uh, archaeological remains. Um, is it due to like a natural force that they were um, dilapidated, or there was uh, some other reason? Uh, as it, as it was? 
what is the cause behind this um, um, ancient ruin? They have become this ruin. Now you can see a little, right? <laughs> uh, so what, what do you think is the reason? Like, I know there are some um, some places where it's a natural cause of destruction or there were some other no, two things, Dante, there are two things. Uh, one is what we call due to lack of maintenance, the sites that were flourished, uh, no patronage, Buddhi, the Buddhist monks will desert the Arama because there is no patronage uh, and they have to go. They continue na, the mission of the Buddha. Then they move from one place to another and this becomes no monk, nothing, no maintenance. So it falls into ruins. That is uh, one way. After that is um, what you call some of the Buddhist monasteries were appropriated by other faiths. That is second. And the third one is the, the what you call construction of dams, etc. They were drowned and in those cases we salvaged it, saved them. So main reason is, for example, most of the Buddhist caves were appropriated, appropriated by uh, as uh, Narasimha temples. Because you know, Vaisyaka Purnami the, the same thing they converted into Nusimha Jayanti, Buddha Jayanti. On the same day, they made it Nusimha Jayanti. But nothing, we are, we, we here are with wholesome uh, thought and this thing, nothing to speak wrong on any other uh, uh, religion. So that is their way. This is our way. We have, we never believed in, in causing inconvenience to any other faith. So Soka said, Buddha said, and we are practicing it. Yeah, the theory of impermanence. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Anicca. Anicca, everything is impermanent. All yes. <laughs> and um, like, how many, uh, what is the Buddhist population over there? Do you have any idea? Yes, yes. Here, what happens is nowadays, it is very difficult to have that population is not more than 10,000 in uh, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. But nowadays, there is a great movement that this Buddhist society of India, uh, followers of Ambedkarites, they are now embracing Buddhism. They are taking ordination, taking certificates from the, um, uh, what you call monasteries like uh, Mahabodhi, Buddha Vihara, and other Buddha Viharas, Trilavke Buddha Vihara is also there. And government is issuing again identity cards as minorities, and they are deriving some benefits. And not for benefit, they are convinced. Most of them are convinced this is the only religion where there is no distinction among the humanity. Humankind, one is great, one the another is not. No. So, because Buddhism gave that what you call Catholicity, uh, and people are embracing it. Now it is on ascending, on ascending. Yeah, like I think uh, the Ambedkar movement has. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Like done a tremendous. Um, revolution uh, yes, in, in the part of um, like the many parts of Karashtra uh, um, and all over India and now these people are uh, very well educated, very well settled in their lives and uh, I, I can see that they are improving a lot and we are in fact with the new people and uh, yes, yes. also to see like um, uh, they are back to Buddhism and uh, they are also following and taking care of this kind of education. And I think now after a few uh, generations, um, they will be better equipped to... Yes, yes, um, yes, Vinti, yes. yes. No, the yeah. base the base of understanding what Buddhism preaches is widening, widening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, a, it's very uh, interesting. Like, Buddhism has lost its... Uh, ground um, very early, like maybe like several centuries later, and then yes, it was yes, well protected outside of India. And um, yes. it was in Sri Lanka, in uh, many uh, Myanmar. Yes, Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos. Yes, yes, yes. Also, it went to mainland China, uh, Japan, Korea, and many countries are now. Um, they are protecting Buddhism as if they are on, uh, like, uh, you know, original. Yes, so yes. And, uh, 
ante permit me one of the poets 100 years ago one poet by name gurudev apparao he is a what to call a reformist movement he likes buddhism also he said that we exported buddhism and imported terrorism bolke <laughs> <laughs> yeah um now uh, now i can see like uh, buddhism is coming back to india and lot yes, of yes, yes, yes. many movements many many individuals and organizations are working very hard uh, because buddhism is such a peaceful uh, peaceful movement and it's a philosophy for someone's life and i think uh, it's very important that indian society is um, still paying respect to buddha and uh, buddhist philosophy so that this amazing country can be much more beautiful i, I yes. don't think buddhism will harm anyone in the world just no, like no, no. just no, no, like no. We, can, we can see everywhere in the world how buddhism has survived uh, its sister um, and also adapted adjusted to the local conditions and yes. uh, it's amazing so uh, we need to still come back to the original land of the buddha and uh, hopefully it will flourish and it will benefit uh, definitely uh, definitely thank you so much for thank this thank you uh, thank you mande opportunity and uh, we would like to hear from you more and yes, I, uh, we will have i will i feel it is a chance mande it is a great opportunity for me and yes. the ignorance aviveka mera avidya my avidya shall not uh, <laughs> whenever you are ready to uh, Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Or something after, something after, uh, after 15 days we can make one more presentation mante yes yes that will be great and and the, the relic caskets of the telugu relic caskets i will take one more class relic caskets recovered from andhra that is a very beautiful thing okay. i will write from two relic of lord buddha dantapura which is now in kandy then in nagajanakonda in amravati in chennai museum very interesting stories are there relic caskets relic festivals uh, distribution of relic, the story of the holy relics i we can say that e with the special reference to andhra and telangana next time we will speak that one thank you so much thank you so thank much you, thank you bande i thank uh, of this thought provoking lecture we extend our no no no, 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 no. <laughs> sharing his profound wisdom with us today. We also thank all our participants actually from around the world for joining us in this endeavor. I can see many people are appreciating uh, your your presentation, and um, this marks the the lecture number thirty-four of uh, thirty-five of our uh, Thursday guest lecture series, and we have an exciting uh, lineup of lecture speakers and topics ahead, all in that deep. Our understanding of Buddhism and its application in life. Stay connected by subscribing to our YouTube channel Dharma USA and following us on Facebook and other social media platforms to stay updated on upcoming lectures. Thank you again for um, being part of this wonderful event, and we hope today's lecture has enriched your knowledge. and inspire you on your journey towards inner peace and harmony let us continue to learn grow and support each other in our quest for a get greater understanding of dharma remember our dharma journey doesn't end here you can explore more dharma resources and updates on our website dharmausa.org or on our blog site dharmausa.com If you have any questions or inquiries, feel free to contact us at info at www.dharmausa.com. With that, we conclude. Thank you. Thank you. Bhante. Thank you. Vandami. Vandami. Bhante. Sadhu. 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 Until we meet again next Thursday. Thank you. After 15 days, Bhante. After 15 days. I have many things lined up. Tours are there, so I will make that presentation next. Is the holy relics from uh, both the states, or we can have on the holy relics, holy relics of Lord Buddha. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. May all of us be blessed by the number to present. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. See you again next week. With another program. Thank you. Uh, and I look forward to the next week.